All right, so here I have the Red Team Warhog Rescue. And starting off, I can't really recall what the original sell price of this set was. I believe it was about 35 US dollars at Walmart. But as of right now, October 2nd, 2023, you can get it for 21 US dollars on Amazon. This set does come with 324 pieces, which is about 15 cents a piece. So do whatever you'd like with that information. This set is made up of one Warhog vehicle with upgraded suspension. I'm not a fan of it, but we'll get to that in a little bit. A stationary gauze turret, a goose gauze, I'm probably saying it wrong, but um, a short wall cover, as you can see in the back right here. Three Spartan figurines, as you can see right here. Four weapons and a super micro Serena hologram, who I have no clue who this even is. The last Halo game I ever played was Halo 3. Um, so anything like this, I just think Cortana. <laughs> Um, I apologize for not being in depth or knowledgeable in the Halo world. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Halo 3 was the last Halo game I ever played. For personal reasons, I guess, to put it lightly. So starting off with the figurines, you get three Spartan figurines. The red team making their first appearance in Halo Wars, the video game. So first you get Spartan Douglas 042 here with the red phoenix and emblem on the right shoulder. Let me see if I can get that to zoom in good. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Next here we have Spartan Jerome with the Spartan helmet and emblem on his right shoulder. Aside from that, you can also differentiate him from the other two with the red stripe across his chest here and down the middle of his helmet as a resemblance and tribute to the red feather plume found on the helmets of ancient Greece Spartans. It's kind of cool. Last but not least, we have Spartan Alice 130 with the Jolly Roger an emblem on her right shoulder. See that there. Nice. So with this set being $21 and getting three awesome Red Team Spartans, I'm going to have to definitely give the figurines of the set a 9 out of 10. I didn't give it a 10 only because there's no enemy to fight or, you know, to defeat. So if, say if you were to give this set to someone as their first Halo Mega set, I mean, yeah, sure, they can play on the, you know, with the three figurines on the Warhog, but they'll have no enemies to actually fight against. So that's the only reason why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. But if you disagree with me and you think I should give it a 10 out of 10, let me know in the comments. And now for the weapons, you get one shotgun, one assault rifle, and two SMGs, which is a bit odd seeing as none of the preferred weapons for any of these Spartans is an assault rifle. So I'm not quite sure who's supposed to be wielding it in this set, as Douglas is likely to use either a rocket launcher or SMG. Jerome is likely to use a Spartan laser, shotgun, or magnum, while Alice would either be on a heavy machine gun or the SMGs. Nonetheless, still solid weaponry options, especially considering that this set comes with a standalone stationary Gauss turret with a heavy machine gun on the Warhawk. So I'm giving the weapons and accessories on this set a solid 9 out of 10 rating. Now for the Warhog. This Warhog is a really solid build aside from the bumper that comes off easily. The held by two studs. The flames are a really nice touch giving it that extra cool factor which I definitely like how they give you the option to swap them out as well with the heavy machine gun and the gauss turret as you can see here. You can't easily swap it out you do have to kind of rebuild it but here you have the side by side on how it looks with the flames and without the flames. And don't get me wrong, I like the flames, but I also kind of like the plain one as well, as this looks identical to the original Warhog design from Halo 1. From every angle, even the clunky bumper that annoyingly falls off the vehicle ever so easily. I believe in the game you can melee it and hit it and the bumper kind of comes off in a way. Or maybe that was just in my head and I'm making that up. I don't remember. My only complaint is the upgraded suspension. It's not really a complaint. I honestly prefer the suspension that has been used in the previous vehicle sets. So here you can see the suspension on this new one and the old one as we can all kind of see there. So there's your difference in suspension. The other suspension has like a real bounce to it. This one not so much. And as for comparison you can see here. <laughs> Although I will have to add that the suspension on this set does resemble exactly of what's in the game. So if that's what they were going for, then this new upgraded suspension makes sense. That being said, even though this doesn't have a bounce like the other sets, um, just due to the accuracy, I'm gonna have to give this a, a solid nine out of 10. 
almost want to give it a 10, but there's just something about it that I just don't want to give it a 10 for whatever reason. Yeah, the suspension here looks pretty identical to in-game. Especially when you look at this one here without the flames. Alright guys, that concludes my review, giving this set a solid 9 out of 10 for the Red Team Warthog Rescue.